everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Yule slash Christmas wreath. Um, I've been making these for a few years and every year I get asked like how do you make them and can you make one for me so I thought I'd do a little craft video as it's coming up for the winter solstice for me and obviously Christmas for many of you. So. First of all, for this you will need a lot of greenery. I've gathered some holly, um, which is also good for protection, and um, lots of various other bits and pieces. Um, the most useful tool you'll have for this is going to be holly, um, sorry not holly, ivy, rather, because ivy is very bendable, so it's very good as your um, stable for when you're tying stuff around. Um, so it's basically you can use it like string. I find it's very useful so you're going to want to gather lots of that. Um, I've got some ribbons and some bits and bobs for if you want to add colour. Um, obviously depending it's yours so you can design it however you like. And various bits and pieces. Um, obviously don't go hacking and slashing your way into your neighbour's garden because they won't appreciate it. So, and thank the trees because after all they're the ones that are giving you all this stuff so it's nice to sort of thank them for the fact that you know they're growing it and without it you wouldn't have it. So don't go just cutting down trees and stuff otherwise they'll never grow back. Right, so for this you're going to need a craft ring and you can get these at um, any uh, good craft shop or actually the most common place you'll find these are florists. Um, you can also use, and what I have used in the past is um, wire coat hangers if you just bend them around to size they're very good for this sort of thing and they're reusable so they're practical. Now, I don't know if you can see, but what I've done here in this one, this is our wireframe, I've actually wrapped around a couple of pieces of the ivy I showed you. And where all these little holes are, you'll be able to then place your branches in between them. So that's going to be your staple for how you build your wreath up. So let's go from there. And get a couple of leaves and start pushing them into the holes. So let's find a good one. There we go. Okay. Once you've got a few in, it's just a basically a case of just working it up from there and adding more and more layers depending on how many. Um, how much, how big you want your wreath to be. And then of course you can start weaving your branches in and out. It is very fiddly, I'll give you that. But you'll be so happy once it's made. And in previous years I've actually given these as gifts for people to hang up in their homes, so it's not just something that you can make for yourself. Yeah, you can kind of see as it's building up slowly. Obviously when you're working with holly, be very, very careful because obviously it's got a tendency to attack you. So usually I would do the holly last. Thank you. 
a little tip when you're trying to size your branches, make sure that you leave a little bit at the end that doesn't have leaves on so that you can like push them into the holes. Kind of see we're getting a build up going there. Okay. You may have to obviously cut off some leaves to adjust it depending on, you know, how like sticky outy you kind of want it. Sticky outy? I don't know. Kind of reminds me of basket weaving. I don't know about you. them around a little bit to give it some proper shape. starting to gather shape. I'm going to record part two so you guys can see me how I finish it off and um, like ribbons and special bits and stuff and uh, yeah I shall see you in part two. See you later.